It's a tragedy that somehow gets deeper by the day. A mother, drunk and stoned when she drove the wrong way on a New York highway last week, killing herself and seven others, including four little girls. Now her husband is speaking out in her defense. CBS News correspondent Kelly Wallace has the story. It's my little girl. She's gone. I don't know what else to say about that. My little girl. Daniel Schuler was overcome with grief when asked about his two-year-old daughter killed in the crash. As for his wife, Diane, he said she didn't abuse alcohol. He blamed her tragic ride on a stroke, her diabetic condition, or an abscess in her mouth. I go to bed every night knowing my heart is clear. She did not drink. She's not an alcoholic. Something medically had to happen. That, despite a toxicology report which found that Schuler had the equivalent of 10 shots of vodka and marijuana in her body. A bottle of vodka was found in the mangled wreckage after Schuler drove the wrong way on a New York highway, killing her daughter, three nieces, and three men in another car. Her five-year-old son is the sole survivor and is still recovering in the hospital. Did she have an alcohol problem? Did you know her to go to bars? Absolutely not. Did you know her to get drunk and, and act in... I never saw her drunk since the day I met her. Schuler wouldn't answer questions about marijuana use and said there was nothing wrong with his marriage. Kelly Wallace, CBS News, New York. Joining us now are Daniel Schuler's attorney, Dominic Barbara, and Daniel's sister-in-law, Jay Schuler. Good morning to you both. Good, Good morning, morning, Maggie. Maggie. Jay, let me begin with you. These autopsy results are adding insult to injury for your family, revealing that your late sister-in-law was drunk and high as she drove five children in the car. What is your feeling towards your sister-in-law now that you know this? My feeling hasn't changed to Diane at all. They, um, she was a wonderful, wonderful mother, wonderful sister-in-law, wonderful friend. I, I even spoke with her family. Absolutely, we have not changed. Diane would not do this. This isn't the Diane that we know. She was caring, loving, loved children. As I've stated before, I left my son in her care numerous times, once when I left the country, and I, there was not a doubt in my mind. I, I, that's why we need Dominic to help us to find out what happened. This Danny is heartbroken, heartbroken for the Hanses, the Bastardis. They are in our thoughts, our prayers. We want them to know this is not Diane. We Ms. would never, never ever let this, let this happen. Mr. Barbara, if I was in these, this family's shoes, I would not want to believe it either. But the autopsy result is conclusive. Her blood alcohol level was twice the legal limit. She had been smoking marijuana. There was a broken vodka bottle in the car. How do you explain those things? Well, Maggie, I'm going to ask you how to explain a woman who gets up, has breakfast, leaves the campground at 9 a.m., gets kisses from her husband, all the kids are in the car, leaves, other people speak to her, she is not drunk. Let's start with that as premise number one. Premise number two, she is, at some point, something happens to this woman. There's no doubt about it. We're finding more and more proof a matter of fact, a phone call from one of the children, now we know that the child observed that the mother, the aunt, was having problems forming words. That's not drunk. She was having problems seeing. Something happened. Now, I, 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 I've been a lawyer 38 years. I'm not suggesting that, the, and the family believes there was no alcohol, but I'm not suggesting, even if there was, how it happened was, must be discovered. Okay, so you she believe that if she was drunk and high, it's because a medical condition caused her to drink and smoke May pot? Uh, maybe a, a stroke, something occurred. The autopsy you know, ruled this, that out, though. Ruled well, out Well, that's not correct. That's not correct. Everyone who keeps saying that is not correct. We have not gotten all the brain tests back yet, and there will be another uh, test done. But let me ask this question. Uh, if if you want, if anyone wants to believe that this was, and she's drunk and high, she makes phone calls. At, one, at phone call number three, she's already saying, I'm in trouble, I don't see right, I, I'm having problems. Mm -hmm. She then is going to get in the car if you follow their ideas and smoke a joint in front of five children. Is that logical to anybody? 
This is not a woman that anyone has ever seen drunk. We don't have them at family functions. We don't have her at, at, at the campsite drunk. She was never drunk. This is a hardworking woman, a good mother. This family, if they believed that she was drunk in that car, would never take the stand they're taking. We, we, we care too much about Diane. We would have helped her a long time ago. That She would never, ever this type, not, not this person. The first phone call saying to her brother that we're on our way home. We're yeah. going to be a little late. The girls have play practice. So how no will problem. you prove we'll be this? There soon. Do you think that it's too late to, to prove your, your theory? I'm, I'm hoping that Dominic, maybe another toxicology, I don't know. I'm not a legal I don't know the legal issues, and that's why we've asked Dominic to help us. Well, one oh. of the things is we're getting witnesses, and, and my investigator, Mr. Ruskin, is finding people. We have found one person already who saw her driving on the grass when she could have clearly gone around a car to the left. You'd have to think that this woman was that drunk that she didn't know where she was for four hours? To go into McDonald's for point one nine. All right, I, I'm very sorry to interrupt, but, but we're almost out of time, and I definitely want to make sure that I leave time to ask you, Jay, how is your nephew, the sole survivor of this crash, doing? Brian is a, Brian's a trooper. He, um, it's going to be a long haul. Uh, we will, he will need some extensive rehab. We're just giving him love and support from the family. Um, we are around him around the clock, around the clock, just to make sure that he's okay. Mm -hmm. And I have to tell you the, 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 that this father, this husband, this uncle, my client, All right. is, is an incredibly good man. And, and it's so, so sad for all, everyone. We know it. It is. But and we're so sorry for your loss. Most people don't understand it. Jay Schuler. Thank you. Dominic Barbara, thank you, thank thank you so you. much. Thank, Thank you, you ma'am.